Hi, I'm Catherine. Welcome to my truck camper. Come on in. It's been a dream of mine for a long time to live in a camper in the desert. I just had that idea in my mind that I wanted to go out to the desert, live in a camper, travel the Southwest. So I had a little bit of a rough time in the beginning of 2020 and that was just like the catalyst for like, okay, I'm doing it and pulling the trigger, buying the truck and the camper and heading out. And it was a really, really incredible experience. And it was also a deeply healing experience for what I had just gone through. I needed like an entire change of scenery and I also needed to chase a dream in order to help myself heal. And it did test me a lot as an individual. I learned so much about myself. I feel like my self-worth is so much higher. My ability to fix things is like up there now. Like if anything were to break, I would just be like, no problem, I got this. I think a lot of that came from traveling alone too, where there was nobody there to help me. Most of the time I just had to do it myself. Definitely helped with my confidence, my ability to make friends, my ability to talk to strangers, and just like ultimately the freedom of being able to, I know people say this all the time, but being able to wake up in a different Different place every day and travel and go out into the wilderness and find the perfect campsite that was one of my favorite things to do just like drive until you see the perfect campsite and then be like yes this one's mine for the night this is my house for the night so overall the experience was deeply healing and incredible for me and it's something that I'm never gonna stop doing I've always loved camping and I've always loved traveling and I was inspired by my parents. They also have a Bigfoot and a Dodge Ram. Honestly, I wanted something to like bond with my dad over. You know, he's a master mechanic at both campers and trucks, all sorts of vehicles. So that's kind of why I went the truck camper route. I do feel like they're the most badass. Like when you see a truck camper out on the road or like in a campground, those are the coolest people. <laughs> So I would say to do it, go for it. You can do it, I promise. And it's, and it's gonna be hard. It's not gonna be easy 100% of the time. You are gonna have challenges, but you're gonna overcome them and it's gonna feel amazing to overcome them. And then you also get to see so much good stuff that you never would have thought about seeing before. So this is my Dodge Ram 2500. It is a Cummins turbo diesel. Um, it's a three quarter ton truck, so it can handle my beautiful Bigfoot camper. Probably my favorite thing about the rig, I think I actually bonded a little bit more with the truck, if that makes sense, because I think the truck sort of has a life of its own. And this is the vehicle that helped me get across the entire country. Uh, the high clearance four wheel drive meant that I could go pretty much anywhere. I could drive past all the other big rigs and campers to get out to those really cool remote locations. And it does have the suicide doors to the full back seat. The camper is a 1999 Bigfoot 9.6. This is uh, the propane heater vent. And then this is the propane hot water heater in here. This is where all the electrical cords live. So if you're gonna plug the camper into ground power, all the cords live in here. And then this one is where you would connect a hose to the camper. Again, if you're gonna be plugged into the ground and you have your water supply plugged in here. The dump valves live in here. So I've got my black water dump and then the gray water dump is down underneath. Got my ladder up to the roof where I have a 220 watt solar panel and then my staircase leading up into the camper. I do have a basement underneath, which is where I keep my hoses, my tubes, and I have a huge bin under there for all my camping supplies. This is where the propane bottles live. The camper does have levels on the outside, which helps me keep it level when I'm putting it on the ground. And then also when I'm trying to find a good spot to camp, I usually hop out and check the levels, see how level I am. Got some exterior, outlets out here and then this is the fresh water intake so if i'm just using a hose to fill up my 50 gallon fresh water tank i use a hose right in there so i do want to address the idea that a solo female traveler might be less safe on the road i actually never felt that way i did feel very safe most of the time and if i did feel a little bit unsafe i trusted myself to get myself out of that situation to other people that are thinking about traveling or traveling solo just trust yourself and trust your gut and you're gonna be 100 percent fine so this is my kitchen i have a double sink upper cabinets this is my little fruit hammock and then i have a three burner propane stove and oven so i have plenty of storage in the upper cabinets and i did upgrade these cabinets by painting them white and i also added this 
tile backsplash to kind of brighten it up in here and make it a little bit more homey. This is how I monitor everything, my water pump and then my hood light and fan. And then underneath the sink is where my solar converter lives. So it's called a wet bath because it is all one room. You shower in the room. It's been awesome to have on the road. I love having my own shower so I don't have to go seek out showers and I do get to take a shower every day, which is super nice. Got a little cabinet in there and then my toilet. So I have a 50 gallon fresh water tank, which is huge. I never run out of fresh water. Um, I also have a 26 gallon gray water tank. So all of that water has somewhere to go. And I believe I have a 20 gallon black water tank. So this is my dining area dinette. The dinette does fold down into a pretty nice size bed. Um, with the cushions making out the bed. I have my little upper cabinets here. Again, I painted them white just to upgrade them a little bit. This is tons of storage in here. And then I added these little cork boards between the cabinets. That was like a dead space. And I decided to put cork boards up so that I could hang some of my pictures. And I spent a lot of my time sitting at this dinette. This was, I called it my office area. So any sort of work I needed to do, I would sit at the dinette. So I have another big storage cabinet here. This is actually where I would hang my coats. And then this guy up here, I actually used as a spice rack, but it does pull out. And then this guy is my full size refrigerator. I did put a sticker from everywhere that I camped on here. So this guy kind of means a lot to me. Um, this is sort of the map of where I went all over the country. I did stick to the Southwest, um, Arizona, Southern California, Nevada and Utah mostly with a few things in New Mexico and Colorado. Yeah, this is what my fridge looks like on the inside. I did have to buy mini pizzas because full-size pizzas wouldn't fit in my freezer. <laughs> so I have a vent fan here that opens and closes. It's got an in-out ventilation and then a couple of different speeds on the fan. And this is my air conditioning unit. It's a Dometic. It actually has air conditioning and opt optional heat, and it is freezing. This thing works so incredibly well. Uh, living in Phoenix in the desert, I actually had to turn it off a couple of times at night because it was freezing me out. It was so cold in here. I do have a queen size foam mattress that is the most comfortable bed I've ever slept on in my life. I have tons of storage up here. My little hampers open on the side for extra storage. It's where I kept my clothes. The penguin cabinets open up here and then I do have an extra skylight and um, vent above me. I am a full-time potter. Before I left for my trip, I made a stockpile of pottery and I had it in boxes in my truck. And on the road, I sold pottery for gas money. People would ask me my story and I would say, I make my money on the road selling pottery. Do you want to see some? And then people would always, you know, very generously want to see the pottery. A lot of people bought the pottery. And if you want to see more of my work, you can check out my Instagram at chromatic clay or my website is chromaticclay.com. Thank you guys for coming and checking out my truck camper. And I did want to let you know that it is currently for sale, the whole package truck and camper together. Are you serious? This is for sale? Yep, it's for sale. All right, we'll take it. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Look at that cute truck camper ribs. <laughs>